Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. It's time for another versus match. We're going Kden Live against Da Vinci Resolve. Let's do it. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Once again, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. If this is your first time joining in, here we build a community of learning to surface the art technology that is what we feel is most valuable. It covers over the video and the photography, photo, and uh, photo management, all those different kinds of art technologies that are usually open source, if not cheap or free. Um, and I'm trying to bring those to the surface, bring those to light so you can see them work highlight some of the good features and give you an opportunity to go explore those and uh, dig deeper and hopefully improve your process as an art professional or even just as a curious observer. In either case, I'm so glad you're here to join in and see this comparison tonight. I have done a previous video on Kden Live, so go watch that if you're curious. This is more just to kind of pit the functionality of an open source versus a commercially developed tool so you can kind of see how that fits together. So. Right off the bat here, we're looking at Kden Live, which again, the interface I felt was really easy, really intuitive to get started right away. The options are right where you'd expect them. The controls function like you'd expect using the traditional controls that I've become familiar with using Premiere and having a history with other nonlinear uh, video editors. So I just, I jumped right into this and this, I just thought it was very simple and I didn't have to do a lot of digging to figure out where things were. It was easy to guess where they were. Flipping over to uh, DaVinci, uh, I actually found that the experience was very similar. Things are, are easy to kind of guess your way through and the interface will cook up and here we go. Again, it's, it's familiar, a lot that uh, you don't have to, to fight your way into to figure out how you're going to get stuff into it. It just seems very clear right out of the get go of how it should work. And I like that in a product. Um, that was some good design coming into this, especially being that this is again, open source versus commercially developed. This one isn't as format friendly as Kden Live is, I'll say that, but that may not matter to you. It does MP4, it does the major ones. There's a couple of outliers, like I tried this FLV in here. It didn't really do anything. It just kind of passed by it. So that was kind of strange, but in any case, um, that probably won't be a big deal because again, we're working in mostly major formats these days. And as long as you're working in one of those, you'll be just fine. So the rest again is very intuitive. So interface on both sides, Kden Live and DaVinci, I feel like they're both equally strong, equally intuitive, very, very easy to, to guess your way through even coming into it as a first time user. So that was very good, both sides. Performance for the both of these, I'm not sure if you'll get a good sense of that as I dance back and forth here between the two tools. Um, I did find that Kden Live was consistently lighter weight on system resources. I'm running this on a pretty old HP laptop. That's about five or six years old. And it keeps up, but it performs very admirably with this tool when you export it's very quick. It renders into memory. It utilizes system resources very efficiently. And I've heard from other people testing out this product that it's the speed response time even for export is just fantastic. It, it, it's you save lots of time with this tool. So take that for what you will. Um, I will say that DaVinci Resolve has a lot more, I think, built into it feature wise. There is definitely tons built into Kden Live and this. So I think there's a lot more behind the scenes going on to support what's going on. In fact, one of the best things that I've seen about Resolve that's really cool is that it supports uh, databasing. It uh, supports the uh, post Gray SQL, I believe it is, uh, post -Gray SQL. Um, that could be really useful if you're coming at video editing from a team experience or whether that's local or remote, you could feasibly have this database in the cloud and be working across countries or different kinds of borders and be able to function as a team using that technology. So that's very, very innovative. Um, built into the DaVinci tool, I did not see that supported in Kden Live. Um, so again, if you're working as a team or a corporate environment, this, this could be very powerful for you. Um, so 
yeah, again, performance a little, little slower, but still very powerful. There's, there's a lot built in this, I think more built into this, which may be the reasoning why. So next thing I wanted to touch on is just kind of a quick comparison between the title tools in these things. Uh, you have to flip on this one. This is Kaden Live again. Um, order the appropriate thing here. Let's see, I believe it was, yeah, add title. And this works and you do get some animation controls. Um, I kind of found it to be a little, a little haphazard. You can get the job done. It definitely works. Um, but some of it, I feel like it's kind of you're kind of guessing your way, not really sure how it's going to end up sometimes. <laughs> At least that's how it felt when I was trying to figure it out. Um, so you can mess around with it. Um, and I do believe it's achievable to get to the point that you're looking for. Um, yeah, the controls here just it, it felt it felt a little difficult on this aspect. And um, again, you can accomplish getting a title in there. That wasn't the issue. It was just the kind of the, the fanciness, the polishness of it that uh, I felt was a little, a little difficult to get through. To add in some of these interesting effects, like even just the animation there. Um, yeah. But you again, you see, it plays back in real time. There was no render involved, um, so that could be good. If your goal here is just to create simple titles, again, this will accomplish that purpose. You could do the gradients, the controls are all there. Go check it out. I have to say that on this one, DaVinci has some very impressive features here for this. It looks really nice. It has some nice, clean, out-of-the-box functionality here uh, that work well. Let's see if we can focus in on this. I do believe it takes a moment to uh, to catch up. That's if you can stand the render time. Again, my com my uh, computer here is not the newest version of things, but if we can get this to work with this, it would be just fantastic. Let's try another one here. So I do remember there being a little bit of a weight involved with DaVinci again, it was, there we go. So, with that, so you can kind of see, oh, there it goes. I guess I had to get that in there. I have one on top of the other. Let's get rid of this one. So the look of it, while it kind of comes prepackaged in a sense, it just, it looks more refined. And that could be very helpful in a production sense, again, because you don't have to think through all the different effects and build them from scratch every time. Um, I don't doubt that you could probably somewhat template that in Kden Live, or maybe that's a feature coming. I'm not sure. I haven't checked, but just coming out of the box, ready to go. This just, I looked at it and said, wow, from a production machine end of things, this is the way to go for titling. The controls are right here. It functions a lot like After Effects, and it just feels, again, very simple to navigate and figure out uh, what you want to do with it. <laughs> so, I have to kind of weigh DaVinci a little higher, a little heavier on this feature uh, than Caden Live. Um, so for titles, I think DaVinci is your winner there. Uh, again, we kind of touched on the networking capabilities. Uh, DaVinci has that functionality, Kden is not, at least not yet. So winner on that one would be DaVinci. And looking at this purely from the overall support standpoint, which can be very important, um, and it may matter to you or it may not, um, Kden Live is backed by the KDE developer community, and they did just release another updated version. They do it very frequently, as recent as January 10th this year. They are currently supporting this, and you have the full support of that team when you're using this tool. So if you need help, the handbook is very thorough. If you're looking for new stuff, the team, I know from looking at other products, is very open to discussing them and working on them. So that might be important to you to use a product that is still evolving, still shaping rapidly, and um, becoming more powerful almost by the day. DaVinci, while it is very polished and very refined, I noticed during the terms of service that for the free version here, again, this is free, there's a, a more powerful version beyond this, but for this version, and as you agree to the terms, it says if you've bought a license, which applies to the purchase version, 
The warranty they will extend to you is only 90 days. They will guarantee the functionality for 90 days and beyond that, anybody's guess there. Just something to be aware of that there's a limited warranty sense and I don't really necessarily get a sense that DaVinci would tell you tough luck if there was a major problem. That's not what I'm saying, but I kind of get the sense that it would be a lesser priority if you were outside that warranty window, if you bought a license free. I'm not quite sure what the situation is. It didn't specify, um, but I kind of get the sense that it wouldn't be quite as responsive and rapid uh, to attention as the KDE community would be. So just something to keep in mind as you try these out. Um, again, I don't want to sound like I'm going to promote KDN Live over, over DaVinci. These are both fantastic tools. KDN Live is, is, I think, again, lighter weighted, lighter on your system. That could be better for you if you're using an older system or just a simpler system. Um, that could be your way to go. If you have beefier resources, if you're looking to develop more for the corporate look, um, DaVinci could be the way you go. But again, I don't want to say one or the other. These are great, great tools. These are both free versions of the tools, so it's really hard to lose. Go download them both, try them out like I did, and uh, talk about the strengths with me. Come back and comment on them and let me know what I've missed. Let me know some of the features. I know there's tons built into this. Uh, there are other features in other areas. That's stuff I haven't scratched the surface on because this thing is just so complex. But I kind of felt like coming out of the box, these, this would be a good, honest comparison to start with. So share the features that are awesome in either one of these. Share your experiences. Uh, share which platform you're using them on because I think there's multi-platform support. A lot of people say Linux is faster. So let me know if that holds true for these products as well. So again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in and taking the time to evaluate these products along side me do join the conversation and do especially subscribe give me a thumbs up if this is helpful i look forward to seeing you as we continue to develop more great content and build our community of learning together thank you so much